what's going on y'all welcome back to <laughs> another video this video has been long awaited by y'all and uh i think it's about time i stop playing around and actually get this to y'all this is the q a part two um i was supposed to do this like a month ago but you know time just it slips away from you sometimes you know but yeah we just gonna hop straight into these questions. There will be plenty more of these to come in the future. So also make sure you do like, share, and subscribe. That'll be greatly appreciated. Also tune into my live that happens every week at Friday, on Friday at 9 p.m. Eastern time. First question comes from Regina Smith and she asks, why do you hate me? Regina, we've been through this, okay? We have been through this. Question number two coming from Kylie Gentry asking, do you smoke? Uh, no, I don't smoke. I don't smoke. I don't drink. I don't do any of that. <laughs> Question number three comes from Kerr. Kate or Kerr. Fuck it. Uh, how old are you? I'm 22. I just turned 22 back in December uh, on the 18th. Keep that in mind. But the superstar Kitty asks, what is your scariest personal ghost experience? And would you go hunting for them? No. Nope. The paranormal ever. Last question, do you spoil your fur baby, which is Thor? Um, my scariest personal experience was probably when I was uh, downstairs in my living room at like five in the morning because I was on the phone with a friend of mine and uh, I, heard, I heard three knocks on the front door and I went to go look and check it out, see what it was or whatever. So I looked through the peephole, of course, nobody's there. I'm like, I'm like who's on my door at three in the, or five in the morning? You know what I mean? The sun's just starting to come up. And like the minute I, I look away from the peephole, there was like a fucking black figure like dead, like directly in front of me. I'm talking about like this close to me in front of me. Like we're like eye to eye. My body went fucking cold. Like I've never been more scared than I was at that very moment, bro. That I've never been through anything like that ever. That shit was horrifying. All I remember was just black eyes just looking at me. And like I, I saw it. Like it was there for like a good two seconds, and then it was just fucking gone. Like I was frozen. Um, would I ever go hunting for them? Must be a cold day in hell because uh, that's probably the only thing that it would have to be for me to go out there and and do some 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 stuff like that. But I, listen, who knows what the future holds? Eventually, I might. I'm of course going to bring my uh, trusty friend with me, but. Now, I'm going to have a couple people with me. I'm not going by myself. You got me fucked up. Um, do I spoil Thor? Thor is a spoiled, rotten ass dog. He's very spoiled. But I don't spoil him. My mom spoils him. Next question comes from Tony Lott. Asking, Quai, why did the chicken really cross the road? And which did come first? The chicken or the egg? The chicken. Jeep Kareem. What do I do besides YouTube? So uh, y'all be asking me this on my lives like every time. Like currently, right now, I work full time at Amazon. So, you know what I mean? When I'm not doing YouTube, I'm either at work or I'm asleep. That's it, that's it. I literally work, sleep, or if I'm not asleep, I'm on here with y'all. So next question comes from introverted Aries. What's up, Aries? Have you ever had a bully in school? I would never, I wouldn't say I had a bully, you know what I mean? But uh, like growing up, I, I just went to a public school growing up, so there's no like bully. There's just a bunch of badass kids. Like I, I've never had a bully, but I did get like semi. I did. Try, they tried to bully me, you know, because I was like one of the light skinned kids, and the, you know, it was like it wasn't many. There wasn't many light skinned kids there, so they tried to bully me for that, but. By the time I left the school, nobody was fucking with me because like everybody already knew like my older brother that went there. And also when they did try to bully me, like I fought, I fought any of them. Like I, that's, that's how I would handle stuff back in the day. Like if you would try to, to start some shit with me, it's going to be, you know what I'm saying? It's just going to be me and you because I was, I wasn't one of those kids that took shit from people. Like, I just didn't care. Like, I wasn't just about to let people sit there and mess with me and fuck with me. Like, I fought, uh, I fought a lot growing up. Like, a lot. But have I ever had a bully in school? No. 
Anybody I ever fought, we became cool after that, like in school. Next question comes from Zoe. What up, Zoe? What's my favorite character? Or who is my favorite character from The Office? Uh, I would. I have a couple. I would say Jim, uh, Aaron, and Robert California. Top three right there. They're funny as shit. In their own little ways. Aaron is just. Mm. Next question comes from Luke Beats. Who's your biggest role model? What's your favorite part about doing YouTube? And how do you stay motivated? Uh, three part question. Got you. All right. So my biggest role model out like my biggest role model personally i don't really have a the, the biggest role model you know what i mean i look at myself as my role model because you know what i mean I, i've learned a lot from other people over the years like throughout the years but you know i just took what i learned from them like i took bits and pieces from what i learned from other people and i'm i look real greasy right now because i got lotion on my face like god dang y'all see that shit <laughs> but i would say my role model is myself like as i was saying i took bits and pieces uh from you know what i mean people's mistakes and what what not to do and i applied them to my own life and so i i, I really look up to myself just to be a better version of myself every day that's just me though what's my favorite part about doing youtube just being able to do what you want like watch videos we could chill on live we could you know what i'm saying I, I could literally just make a video eating like doing a fucking mukbang but I, I haven't done that but you can literally just do whatever you want chill out my favorite fa my favorite part is y'all though y'all y'all literally make this whole youtube shit go around and i don't even think y'all realize how much power y'all have over these youtubers and um y'all y'all it's y'all like y'all are the best part of this because i like seeing all the feedback and people saying i motivate them stuff like that i'm just like what me i don't i don't do shit but talk on videos like i don't i i never thought that it would come to this but uh for sure like my my subscribers are definitely my favorite part about youtube how do i stay motivated um i think about what i want out of youtube and you know like i wake up every day i'm like I gave myself a choice like before I really started going hard on YouTube and I was like I'm go either gonna wake up every day and go to my nine to five or I'm gonna do this and you know bet on myself to make a living for myself you know what I mean where I don't have a boss over my shoulder every day you know what I'm saying making sure I'm doing whatever I gotta do but uh, that's how I stay motivated I really just give myself that option like if I don't do this I'm gonna have to go back to a nine to five. So either nine to five or be your own boss. And I choose this every single time. Appreciate the question, Luke. Next question comes from Eleanor Reed. What's my favorite animal? What country or countries would I like to visit? Do I drink alcohol? No. And am I single? Well, first, uh, my favorite animal is a shark. And then my other, I have two favorites, a shark and a tiger shark because sharks are apex predators they go they go for any and everything they don't give a fuck who or what is in their way they will bite your ass <laughs> but uh tigers because tigers are like tigers are like the silent killers and that's how i saw myself growing up like i was never the the, the lion try to you know boast my chest or you know what i'm saying puff my chest out saying oh i'm the i'm the toughest out here you know i was more of the the laid back chill type of person but you know what I'm saying you never wanted to cross me because you know what I mean that that's just how I see you know tigers tigers are more laid back but they're still just as deadly as a lion next question what country or countries would I want would I like to visit right now I don't want to go anywhere I love being at home and um, I feel like it's gonna be like that for a while because I'm listen I'm not trying to travel too many sick shit and nasty shit out here like I, i'm good to be honest but eventually i want to go to like uh jamaica you know i don't know just it's, it's a lot of places it's a lot of places but as of now nowhere i'm, I'm good being right here dude and i already answered this i'm getting tongue-tied a lot i'm gonna keep this in the video too <laughs> mistakes happen all right we're all human do I drink alcohol? No, I said that already. Am I single? 
Next question. Jillian Dean. Big hello from Northern Ireland. How you doing, Jillian? Apart from your reaction videos, what do I do to keep myself busy during COVID, during this COVID-19 stuff? And what am I most looking forward to when, when this is all over? Uh, what, I, what do I do to keep busy aside from YouTube? I, I play Call of Duty. I have an Xbox. Y'all can't see it. Oh, y'all can't see it, actually. Right there. But I have an Xbox. I barely play it, though. But uh, I play it every now and then. Uh, other than that, I try to just learn more about, you know, how to make my content better and stuff like that. Um, also, what do what am I look most looking forward to? Going and getting me a steak. Anybody that that has been in on my live or that knows me, know all I really want when this shit is all over is a steak from my favorite uh, food spot, which is Longhorn Steakhouse. I've been waiting for that shit for the longest. And I don't want to do takeout because it ain't going to be the same. You know what I mean? I want to dine in. Chill out. Stay safe. Thank you, Jillian. You stay safe, too. Along with y'all. <laughs> Dragonborn said, when am I getting Fallout 76? This is like a month ago. I should have been done these Q&As or this Q&A. I, I apologize. But at least we got it. We got it now. You know what I'm saying? It's here. Uh, but dragon i don't think i'm ever gonna get fallout 76 i mean it's just, it's just not one of them games that's on my radar and that'll wrap up this q a number two yo thank all of y'all for clicking this video once again thank y'all for 16k damn i love y'all man appreciate all of all the support that y'all be giving me all of you know what i mean all the love and the lives even though y'all be harassing me but it's all good though uh yo make sure y'all do tune into the live that'll be happening every friday 9 p.m eastern time and i got another video more videos coming for y'all next week uh stay tuned love y'all appreciate y'all i'm gonna see y'all in the next video i'm out of here